Hey guys, here is another project that I've built uh, using Bubble. Uh, my client provides uh, services to freelancers or organizations or all around the world. And the company, Globalization Guide, helps uh, these said freelancers and organizations to incorporate in the United States. So let me uh, go through the user experience of uh, the uh, service side or of a client's user. So basically you log in, I've already signed up. So uh, you've got the services that the client provides to uh, these freelancers or to their clients. We've got transactions like history and the profile. And let me apply with uh, uh, incorporation. So you've got a couple of steps uh, that you have to go through uh, to apply for incorporating in the United States. So you cannot use these tabs to click on them and sort of like jump through them. You just have to go through the uh, whole experience here. So let me choose type LC. This is again, like this is version test. So in the future, obviously, whatever client wants to, uh, whatever services they want to add, they can do it. So you can pick the state, let's say New York, or New York City is done. So let's do New Jersey. Business name options, you provide a couple of names. Uh, let's say Creative Coalition or if Creative Coalition is not available. Let's do Creative Coalition, or I don't know, Creative Coalition, and it's on, right? You click Next, and you have to add the owner. So at the moment, it's Geo, and you can do it's hundred percent. But if you want to add another owner you can obviously do that and you can hit next uh, website url let's leave it blank at the moment let's say it's tech and business description we could go here Jeez. Jeez. so on this page it's sort of like summary whatever you are so so that you can just review what you're paying for uh, amount at the moment is a is a version test we have like 30 bucks but it's uh, not that that's not real amount so when you click next stripe payments have been integrated we are in the test mode uh, so let's do 242 42. and let's do any date of the future and any three so thanks so it went through. Now we're going to wait for Bubble to. Your credit card was successfully charged. All right. That's very nice. And I got the email. And here I have to pause the video, I guess, because now we got the process started. So we'll know uh, the whole status updates from this panel right here. So now let me sign into the admin panel so that you guys can understand. So uh, I've signed in uh, to admin, admin's user account. So here is how the admin will see the new uh, new order for or a new client. So they can view the details of the uh, inquiry and they can start the process. And once they do, uh, first, first uh, step in the process was request accepted. So they will just take this or check it and that's it and then that's what the uh, user or their client says that okay they have uh, the client or the organization has re uh, accepted the request and then the process goes just pretty intuitively and you will see this here and then as it goes when like admin will fill out all the forms and that's it so I'm gonna show you another thing uh, as the client has already like a couple hundred users, not users, but clients, what they can do is we have uh, given them the uh, feature to add their existing clients. So let's say John Jones, John at Jones.com and address would be, let's say 59. the address and add so oh, oh shit 
Okay, so now it had to uh, go into refresh, but so now we've got the in progress. So in this case, uh, the person who created the organization is the admin himself. So that's what we're going to see. And also instead of view, we have edit. So just because this client has already been in their, um, in their database anyway, so the admin will fill out the form for them. So let's say create promotion in owner John Jones, 100%. That's info. Let's say they don't have education. And the client will say, did they pay or not? So they have already paid. How much did they pay? Let's say five. And we're going to save changes. So, and then we're going to make updates. So in this case, the client has already went through this. So it is existing client. So we're, we know everything about them. So let's say create a coalition, uh, filing ID. I don't know how it's. Uh, let's do this. Uh, let's do a link for a document. So basically, what we've done here is you would you would upload some files, and you would link those files here. And EIN number has been received, and we're going to do this in here as well. And it's all auto me. And boom. So you don't see this existing client anymore in progress. So you would see them in the clients section. So um, if you click on the view, that's all you need to know about this existing client's company. So what else are we going to do? Okay, so when the client client can buy, purchase individual services as well. So let's, uh, I've done this already, but let me do it again. Uh, for, uh, let's apply for form 5472, uh, make payment. So it's 4242 again. It's this payment. All right, it was charged successfully. I'm going to yeah. see these charges in the transactions tab, and the admin will see these new, uh, new inquiries in the service tab they can update this so whenever you have uh, so the client will uh, my client will apply for the form 5472 uh, on, on behalf of their client and just share the documents in here and that's it that's how their process works there is nothing else to be done in here or updated and also if you click the view you're gonna see the you, you'll be linked to a file uh, which yeah, has been updated, uh, which has been shared in the in the update uh, tab here. Yeah, so that's it for now. I hope you liked it. If you have any feedback, or if you want to give us any recommendations, or if you're interested in uh, something specific, like how I did, uh, or how I uh, built something like specific feature, just let me know, and I'll try to create a tutorial uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, meanwhile, if you're interested in uh, incorporating in the United States, you can go ahead and uh, type globalizationguide.org. That's our client's current website. If you go to this website and scroll down below to this section here, USLC for non-US citizens, there is a comprehensive guide on how to establish LC and what, what do you have to know before establishing in the United States. I think that's a pretty uh, comprehensive information. You should definitely check it out. And yeah, once, once our app launches, uh, probably they're gonna let you know so you can use it for the smooth experience also in about the launch so we're we're doing some final uh, revisions here and we're doing some final tests so the app will be probably launched within next two or three weeks i hope um we can do it even earlier than that so yeah that's it for now thank thanks for watching